I want you to be comfortable. I'm here to be your friend. I wanted to meet you in your university. But the Home Minister of India gave an order to the owner of your university that you dare allow this conversation. everything has been deciding by the politics, let's decide our politics. I want to know that thing. How can you uh, manage the pressures and the criticism? Can you come here a second? Yes, sir. Well, thank you for coming here. It's always interesting for me to come to the Northeast. Every day I learn and I see new things when I come here. So, I'm here to answer your questions. So, I'd like you to start by, you know, what you're feeling. Hi sir, uh, my name is Ankit. I simply wanted to ask like how this Bharat Jodo Nyaya Yatra is going to include the students. What I think is that you really uh, provided a hope for us. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What is a slave? Who is not allowed to think. Slavery is blind obedience. What the RSS is trying to do to India is trying to make sure that everybody is blindly obedient to what they say. Can a country function like that? I wanted to meet you in your university. I was not supposed to meet students in this closed little room. But the Home Minister of India gave an order to the owner of your university that you dare allow this conversation because he's going to say things to those students that are going to make them think about what is going on in India. And the answer to this blind obedience is what? Resistance. Resistance because as an individual, I have my own view of the world. Not for the nation, for yourself, resist. Because it's your future you're talking about. How can you, sir, manage all the pressure, sir, and all those people's, all the ne negative aspects and the criticism? Can you come here a second? Yes, sir. So, so this is, now this is an idea, okay? Maybe this is him calling me an idiot or him saying I'm a fool, a nasty idea, right? And now he's got it in his mind, okay? So now, can you give it to me? He's now giving me the idea, right? Yes. Okay, give it. Give it. This is very important for you. Ah, give it, give it, give it. It's very, very important. Thank you, thank you. Very important. Very Right? So, please understand that any idea that comes to you, you choose to catch it. Point I'm making to you is, what you take away is up to you. You have a space called your mind. You control that space. Nobody else controls that space. So, what you have to learn is how to control that space. So, I do agree that resistance is the only apt reaction when faced with blind obedience. But I also think that in such a polarized climate, to be blindly obedient is the default. So to say that it should be on the individual to resist may not be a very fair expectation as well. So I feel like to expect that from the individual is not realistic. So how do we then make politically aware citizens? If there's a dark room, how many candles do you need to light it up? Even if one person walks out of here, with it seriously in his mind that the person is going to resist, he'll have converted 100, 200 people outside. So it's infectious. What will be for the first name that comes to mind when you say when India resisted against the British? What's the first name? Gandhi. Gandhi. All Gandhi did out there was resist. Don't underestimate what you as an individual can do. The other way to look at it is that the idea of India is going through fire. It is going through fire to be further strengthened. Namaste Rahul Bhai. Namaskar. People say that after going to the Rajniti, there is no good place for the Chhatra Rajniti. So, what do you want to say about the Rajniti? I would like to listen to them. If the Rajniti is so bad, I have a straight question. Why does the Rajniti drop the polio and who will not get it? As many rights we are seeing after 1947, जो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ने हमको प्रोवाइड किया है वो राजनीति से मिला है तो ये जो कहा जाता है ना कि राजनीति नहीं करना चाहिए ये वही कहते हैं जो जिनके दिमाग में पहले से राजनीति है 
मेरा मानना है कि जब नमक से लेकर के तेल तक कलम से लेकर के किताब तक शिक्षा से लेकर के स्वास्थ्य तक रोजगार किसको मिलेगा नहीं मिलेगा मंदिर कौन जाएगा कौन नहीं जाएगा इफ एवरी थिंग हैज बीन डिसाइडिंग बाय द पॉलिटिक्स लेट्स डिसाइड आर पॉलिटिक्स Best way for me to not want you to enter somewhere is to tell you it's dirty, it doesn't work, it's useless, you have no future. So that's what's going on. They just don't want you to go in there. I feel like all students have opinions. All of them have things to say, but the biggest issue is that it's not considered as valid. It's not heard. We have no authority. But uh, to be in this room with someone who has authority and actually be heard was nice. I think what uh, Mahatma Gandhi did for India was. something very commendable and what rahul gandhi is doing now is something which will unite india bharat jodi yatra ek acha initiative hai aur isko aage leke jana chahiye aur main iski ummeed karta hu ki har log is yatra se jude aur isko aage leke jaye logo ki baatein sune